Hello my dear friend I hope you are doing great Now I want to discuss a very famous saying by the Sadhguru you might have aware about that personality that is ascetic person and I was listening him and I was totally happy to listen him that's why i am here in front of you to share the sayings of the sadguru maharaj he was telling that all the persons having fears of failing but we have to avoid and we have to think it as a stepping stone to the success stepping stone to the anything like a end part of the life like moksha if we generally talk about the ascetic person who live in the forest uh, are like behind all the whole world life he is living in the forest and he is waiting to reach up to moksha and like uh, if you are a student you are reaching or you are finding yourself in between and you are having fear of failing what you have to do these are the stepping stone to the success whatever problem is coming in between that is the only stepping stone we can take example if you are a businessman or you are a like job seeker or you are a, like a, having your entrepreneurship when the economy is at the boom each and every person or more on will earn money this is the reality when economy is slump then you have to equate all the amenities and facilities and you have to go the into the forest also maybe and that is the part of the life and we should not have fear this thing in our mind we should take it as a stepping stone then only our life would be cherished with the joy because he said with the example of a farmer let's suppose once there was a farmer and he was very like unhappy and he was in depression why like each and every time the crop is failing and like a unnatural like rain is happening lot of thunderstorm is coming and all his crops are ruining by the goat that's why he is poor and he is get, like gaining very less crop from the field then he went up to the lord shiva our favorite lord shiva and suddenly like uh, he enrolled in, in, in himself into the queue to meet to the lord shiva but luckily he got chance and he got a wild at wild card entry and he met up to the lord shiva and lord shiva said yes gentlemen why you have came here then he told lord as per my view you were a hunter and you don't have sense about the agricultural fields and whatever you are doing like unexpected rain is happening due to you your wish because you are not having knowledge of the agriculture and as per profession i am the agriculture i am a farmer i know each and every things about the agricultural system please assign or give me the power to control the natural things like rain and sun then our like a good god shiva was very in jolly mood and then he assigned the task or he gave the all powers of the to control the natural things rain and water and all things to that farmer yeah far- farmer was very happy and like a, he utilized all his power and like a, whenever according to the maize crop the requirement of that thing like uh, if there is a rain then he said yes the rain should happen the suddenly rain came and like uh, he want to do harvest then he told to son like you have to hide yourself behind the cloud and i want cloudy weather then suddenly cloud came he was totally happy he did he did all the things as per the like requirement of the crop at the end of the like uh, harvesting system he did all the things and he found like suddenly he was totally astonished by watching like he found there there was a no grain in inside the crop then he totally depressed and he went he was like in the aggressive mood he went to, up to the lord shiva but this time he was unlucky 
and like god was busy in devotion and he was reciting his all the mantras then he had to wait lot of time after some time like angel came outside and that he called that farmer in front of the lord shiva lord shiva said yes what happened gentlemen why you you again came here then farmer asked shiva you have provided me all the natural powers i did all the things like why the crop is not generating from my field then lord shiva laugh and told yes gentlemen all the powers i have assigned to you and why you are like uh, coming to me because already i have given to you all the powers and this is none of my business then <laughs> farmer said to the lord shiva like god like why this is happened to me i did all the things in the proper manner and meticulous manner and like suddenly uh, like nothing like crop came out from that field then lord shiva like suggesting him or told him all the story whenever like uh, you like uh, the crop is generating i am blowing all the swirl wind or the heavy winds and during the heavy winds the crop forms its root into the soils and that is the philosophy behind generating grain in the crop because you did all the, or you did control all winds and rain but you didn't blow the wind that's why the crop was easy mood and they didn't form their roots into the soil that's why the crop is not yielding from your field then what we are getting from this story this is the philosophy of life and the god gave message to that gentleman farmer yes till the time the swirl winds or heavy winds would not come in your way you would not firm your roots to the soil or you would not be strong to enough to bear the uncertainty of the time or problem then we have to take a message from this saying yes till the time we would not bear the like blow of the heavy winds how can it possible we would reach up to our desirable things yes definitely like each and every person desiring so many things in their life but whatever he gets that is the he possessing or he is like capable that thing that whatever potential he is having he will get that thing only this is the like way to reach up to your success because like problems are coming and that that is the stepping stone to the success we have to take we have to take lesson from this story that whatever problem is coming do not bother about that thing keep going and you should consider and do not get worried about that thing you should take that thing as a stepping stone to your success thank you friends if you are liking my story and sadguru sayings that share among your friends it's a totally philosophy of our life and we have to imbibe this thing in our beautiful life then only we would remain in the jolly mood bye